All right, so you want to stream the audio from your DAW into Open Broadcast Studio, but you can't quite seem to figure out like I wasn't able to for a while. But check this out, I can do it. Oh. That is being generated by my Moog in real time and being captured by Open Broadcast Studio. Um, and I don't have to splice and edit anything. Fucking sweet. So, um, took a little bit of trial and error to figure it out and I thought I would do a video kind of going over how I did it so maybe some of you other dudes and dudettes can find this useful. So, to make it happen, we need to download some stuff. So, we need this voice meter app. So, it's done by bb-audio software so bb-audio.com head over there download voice meter install it you also need to get this virtual cable download it install it you also need asio for all download that shit install it restart your pc and once you're there let's move forward so we need to set up everything before it all works so first thing we need to set up is this voice meter output device so go to your sound properties go to the recording tab go to voice meter properties go to the listen tab go down here to this drop down box make sure it's set to voice meter input cool next we need to make sure uh, whoa clicked on that icon again which opens up the website we need to set up this voice meter uh, application um, and it's pretty straightforward I have my uh, hardware input here for one of my mics that I'm using to capture my voice and uh, this is going to be capturing my DAW here and then it's going to be outputting to MME cable in you set the output here to that is what open broadcast studio is going to be listening to um, so once you set that up you can close this and then let me show you how to set up open broadcast studio so here's open broadcast studio um, you can add an audio capture device let's call this DAW for now and then make sure the device is set to cable input. That is the same uh, device that we set up on the voice meter app there. So we click OK, and now we're ready to rock. You can see um, it's picking up my voice here, which is coming through that voice meter app from my, uh, my webcam. So that's awesome. But I actually don't need this, so I'm gonna remove that awesome there we go because I already have a desktop uh, my desktop audio is set to the cable input here that was just more straightforward for me and I'm not using the input on here because I it's nicer to mix it in the app because it's just uh, a little more straightforward so once we have that done you can close that down because when you open up uh, your DAW, you don't want any other application open using any of your inputs and outputs. Because when it's ASIO for all loads, it's uh, not going to load uh, your devices properly if they are being used. Okay, so now you have your DAW open. Go to the audio options and go to your audio and make sure it's set to ASIO for all. Now uh, let's hit this hardware setup button. So you need to go to advanced uh, settings in ASIO for all, and that's this button here. Go to advanced settings, and you'll want to have uh, whatever your interface is enabled, and this VB Audio voice meter enabled. And once you have that enabled, you need to set up the in the output on uh, your DAW. So click the output tab, and you can see here. Uh, I have my output set up already and I have them labeled so you know what is for what and this 1112 is from VB Audio Voice Meter that is what 
Ableton is going to be outputting to, which goes to in here, and then gets routed uh, to the device that OBS can pick up. Very cool. So, click OK. Uh, I'm going to close this. Close this. So, once you have that all set up, you have to now set up your DAW to um, be able to uh, output to that device that Open Broadcast Studio is going to pick up. And you also need to set up a cue mix so that you can actually monitor what you're hearing yourself through headphones or through your monitors. Um, since I don't want my microphone to pick up what's going on, I'm using headphones. So I have my cue mix set to headphones. And you can do it a couple different ways. Um, what I did is I set up uh, an audio track to be my master before my actual two bus here um, so that way I could just enable the Q mix on that and I can listen I can output and listen to the exact same thing without having to um, enable a bunch of different stuff uh, that just seemed to be the easiest way to do it so what I did is just I added an audio track and then uh, whatever tracks I'm going to be listening to, I have them all outputting to um, master. So yeah, they're outputting to master instead of the master bus. I guess I should have named these a little more, uh, a little different, so it'd be a little more straightforward. But yeah, the one in all capitals is my audio track, and it has my all my mastering stuff on it, and then it outputs to here, and. Then I have it outputting to OBS, as you can see here by the way it's labeled, OBS, and my QMix is outputting to my headphones. So if I switch to view here, and sorry, there's a lot of stuff going on because I was messing around in this in an existing project. And I'm gonna need to make a new template so it's a little more straightforward, but for now, this will do. Okay, so yeah, so this outputs to my master here and then I have the cue out set to headphones and then I just uh, hit this button here and I'm able to monitor uh, what I'm outputting to OBS which is very cool so um, it's a little bit involved takes a little bit of work and when you load up um, all these applications you have to do it in a specific way I found um, or else it's just gonna be kind of wonky so first you're gonna want to load up your DAW and then you're gonna want to load up voice meter and then you're gonna want to load up open broadcast studio in that order um, and then you should just be ready to go and you should just hit the record button or the stream button in open broadcast studio and it'll capture what's going on in Ableton Live. Um, that's pretty fucking cool. Um, let me close this and yeah, there you go. That's coming in from my DAW and like, yeah, nothing's coming out of my monitors. So everything that you're hearing is getting sent, um, being picked up. Uh, with software and before I was just used outputting a cable from my headphone jack and into here and it worked great like that but now that I actually want to um, use external devices I'm using those uh, inputs out so I had to find a different way to do it it's a little convoluted but hey it works and if you're trying to stream uh, the stuff that you're doing in your DAW and you haven't been able to figure out how to get Open Broadcast Studio to uh, record the audio that's coming out of your DAW, this is um, how you do it. I hope you find this useful. Um, yeah, and that's it. Uh, until next time, guys.